All right, everybody, here we go with the update for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series lineup. And this was supposed to adjust the vividness of each of these displays. So we got the S24 Plus and the regular S24. So if we go into settings and go into displays, go into vivid mode. And as you can see the difference, they did add some extra pictures on here to give you some reference as far as the vividness color and they also gave you a vividness slider right here and as far as the difference goes we're going to test out the vividness slider all the way up which is the differences right here this is with it off right in the middle and then right at extreme vividness which is the highest it could go so we're extreme vividness over here on the s24 and the regular vividness over here on the S24 Plus. That way you guys can see the difference between these two displays. So here we got some wallpapers. <clears throat> and as far as seeing the difference, you could notice it very little when watching video and you know, stuff like this with wallpapers and everything. So if we were to go back and go into colors over here, for instance, on your normal day-to-day -day stuff, you can notice it like right here you can notice the differences between the vividness over here on this one and over here and you could tell the difference but it's very little when you're doing normal things now when you're switching it on your on your slider you could definitely notice the difference of these so let's go ahead and click this and hit next and hit done and this will now be our home screen wallpaper now can you notice the difference between the two when it comes down to vividness as far as how each one looks very little very little you can notice it over here just at the colors pop just a little bit more so now if we go into display tester and we go into tests and defective pixels so everything is at 50 percent let's go ahead and put everything to a hundred percent just to brighten things up a little bit. So here is the red, here is the green, here is the blue, white, gray, and dark. Here is some yellow. Now, can you notice a difference? Not really, very, very little when it comes down to the differences here and the colors. But let's go ahead and take a look at some video that way we can see the difference, see if anything shows up for YouTube. So yeah, you guys tell the differences between the vividness settings on here and I think using these every day when it comes down to day-to-day -to -day tasks, you notice it a little bit. Now is it extreme? Not really, but if you were to go into your settings and like I said, you change these settings on your own using the display, go into display and you switch on to these pictures, as you can see right here, you could definitely notice a difference between the vividness. This one's way darker than this one. And especially going into natural mode, you could see that it is way different. If you go into vivid mode, it really doesn't change over here. But if you go over here to natural to extreme vivid, you could definitely tell the difference when it comes down to how extreme it is. So 
it is noticeable. I think it's a good upgrade or update that way uh, people can adjust how vivid they want things on their their phone when it comes down to the color and during day-to-day -to -day, it's tough stuff like watching videos it is hardly noticeable it's barely noticeable when you're looking at pictures and things like that but video I don't think it does too much of a difference but it's here if you want it so I just want to do a quick update of this uh, vividness on the Galaxy S24 series. That way you guys can get an idea of how everything works. Peace.